There's nothing magical about making softer DTF transfers. It's really about dialing in your settings, optimizing your graphics and underbase, and using the right materials that all work together to create the softest DTF transfers possible. This is the concept we call the hierarchy of softness. And if you haven't already checked out the previous videos in this series, there's a link in the description to catch up. In this video, we're diving into the adhesive powder. Adhesive powder for DTF is what helps bond the graphic to the shirt. It works in conjunction with the white underbase to create a long-lasting, durable transfer. There are many different adhesive powders on the market today, including some manufactured in Korea, China, Europe, and even in the US. Most powders are certified to be safe on the finished garment. However, I should note that the process of curing the adhesive powder and potentially breathing in the dust can be harmful to your health. So please take normal precautions, mask up if you're creating a lot of dust, and ventilate your dryer properly. It's hard to know just by looking at an advertisement online which adhesive powder will be softer since there's really no standardization of a softness metric. However, most advertise the micron size or the size of the grains of adhesive powder. Generally speaking, a finer grain powder will produce a softer transfer. Now, be careful looking at the micron size range advertised as those can be wildly inaccurate. And I know this from personal experience. Luckily, testing adhesive powder is fairly easy and relatively cost effective since many dealers sell small packages of adhesive powder. Simply buy a few that have good reviews and test them out. I've tested dozens of adhesive powders, but today I'm testing the new DTF Station Flex Powder versus their standard powder. We'll see if one has a softer hand feel. When you're testing, I would use a graphic that has both large blocks of ink as well as fine details because some adhesive powders will work well in some graphic situations and others won't. You can find this test graphic over on our website, ColorGamutConsulting.com. It's free to download, but you can also pay a little bit if you want to support what we're doing here on this channel. I appreciate it. Now print out your graphic and hand powder them with different adhesive powders. When hand powdering, you want to use some kind of tray, cook sheet to kind of hold all the powder together and not make a big mess. Then you want to dump a generous amount of your powder. This is the flex powder. Pick it up from each end. Hopefully you've left yourself enough margin to hold on to. And you want to just kind of roll the powder back and forth until it covers everything. There we go. Once you got good coverage, you want to turn it around. You want to give it a good flick. See how much comes off? Just give it a good flick. And then we'll set it off to the side and get ready to cure it. To the second test, make sure your tray is completely cleared of all of the previous powder. And just to keep track of which one is which, I'm going to partially cut out my logo here. And I know that one is going to be the one using the regular hot melt powder. Then cure them and press them on a shirt. Just make sure you're using the same settings throughout all of your testing. Let them sit for a bit and then take them for a spin with your hands. Feel them, stretch them, fold them, and see which one has the best hand feel. So comparing them, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of run my hands over it, kind of crinkle it up here. Crinkle it up here the same way. I might feel the two areas that are the same together. Hmm. The reason we do finer details is to see how well it sticks. And then I'll throw it in the wash and see how well it holds up. So that's why we do really fine details, but everything's stuck. We do these big blocks of ink because those are the areas that usually feel the worst. From a hand feel like a surface feel, they feel very similar. I mean, this one's supposed to be more flexible, not necessarily softer, but when you do your testing, you will notice in some cases a dramatic difference. And then when you stretch, I just want you to stretch over like eight or 10 inches, only about an inch. 
because that's all your really clothes are going to need to do. And you do want to wait to do this till the garment is cooled off. Don't do it right out of the press. It will break down. All graphics and adhesive powder will fall apart if you do it too soon. I feel like the flex powder in this case is a little more pliable, a little more kind of with the garment, whereas this feels just a hair stiffer. It's not a huge difference, but it is a subtle difference. So for this particular test, I think the flex powder uh, wins out for softness. Another factor in softness when it comes to adhesive powder is when you powder. Early on, when I was first learning DTF, I noticed that transfers I sent through the automated dryer shaker tended to feel softer than the ones I hand powdered. I realized it was because I was hand powdering immediately after printing, whereas an automated print went down a heated guide plate spending about a minute and a half to two minutes before it was ever powdered. Powdering too soon, or when the ink is still too wet, causes more adhesive powder to stick, giving a thicker hand feel. By optimizing your graphics, dialing in your white underbase, and finding the perfect adhesive powder, you'll create DTF transfers that are truly the softest out there. But we can even go another step further with our second press. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video when it comes out. Heck, it might even be up right now. If it is, it'll be right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.